Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Julia Connor. If you are new here, I make lots of motherhood and lifestyle videos here on my little corner of the internet. Today's video is going to be a really sped up uh, cleaning video time lapse. I am prepping our kitchen for the fall and winter season ahead. I am not really one for spring cleaning. I like to do the big deep cleaning in our home at the beginning of autumn. I just find it's really nice to go into the colder months with a super, super clean and tidy home. Uh, before we get cleaning though, I'm going to make myself a really, really yummy coffee because I like to have something delicious and warm to sip on while I'm doing deep cleans like this. Uh, I'm going to leave my recipe in the description box down below. This is kind of like a keto bullet proof coffee but then i started adding maple syrup so it's not really a keto coffee anymore it is however delicious full of collagen and coconut oil and it is so so good oh my goodness that will be in the description box down below for you guys So just before we jump into it, I want to mention that I have created a free download for you guys. It's also going to be linked down below. It's a daily and weekly cleaning rhythms printable. So I like to have this up on the fridge just as a daily and a weekly reminder. Um, and I thought I'd make it a cute little printable <laughs> for you guys. If, uh, if that's something you're into, if that's something you find you might need in this season of life, it definitely is very helpful for us. So that will be down below. So I'm starting off by just cleaning these dishes. It's the never ending story of my life. And oh my goodness, look at that beautiful red tree. That is my view out the kitchen window. And every day I'm just very, very thankful that that is my view. That's like our neighbors three doors down. They have that gorgeous tree and we get to watch it turn red as the season changes. Once I'm done the dishes, I'm going to scrub out the sink. I'm using my homemade concoction. It's just baking soda and some Castile soap. Um, and it does an amazing, amazing job. And I just scrub away and rinse away. Then for the first time ever, I'm trying easy off in the oven. I let this oven get real dirty. <laughs> it's my shame. And I'm trying this for the first time. So I'm spraying it on and uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Now I'm just starting on this side of the kitchen. I decided before cleaning I would do some refilling. So my little jar of coconut oil needed to be refilled. So I'm trying to get the very last bits of it out of this one jar. I'm melting it in some hot water so I can pour it in. And then I'm going ahead and I'm removing everything from the counter. This is a very crummy spot because it's where our toaster is. And I have to do this like once a week because it's just full of crumbs. But I am just using my homemade all-purpose cleaning spray. It's just like half vinegar, half water with a little bit of salt suds in there from Dr. Bronner's. And I am scrubbing away even underneath the cabinets because I find that just splatter from whatever is cooking on the stove can get up underneath those cabinets. So it's nice to give that area a little bit of attention every once in a while. And then I'm just wiping everything down. Um, I'm going to come back to the stove when I clean out the inside of the oven later on in a few hours. So I'm just kind of going over that really, really roughly. And then I'm wiping down this tray. This tray gets gross. It's where we keep our honey, our coconut oil, our butter. So um, it gets gooey pretty often. And today I am finally giving it a good scrub. Same thing with our toaster. My goodness. Every time I clean these things, I can think to myself, Julia, why aren't we cleaning this like every single day? Because they get so gross so quickly. But it's all tidy. It's all good. And now you can see, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to organize this space. I always think about re like moving things around and then I always end up with the same stuff in the same spots. So that's okay. Um, so I'm putting it all back, but I decided to take this opportunity to clean out and declutter my little utensil pot there. So I got rid of some wooden spoons that I never reached for, um, and some extra scissors. And that feels really good to have it not packed full anymore, a little easier to get things in and out. So now I'm going over to the other side of the kitchen, cleaning the light switches, as you can see, wiping down the walls and the counters. And then I'm wrapping a butter knife in my washcloth just to get under that little piece of cord around there. That was our temporary solution to um, hide the gap between our new countertops and the wall. And it's still going strong, but it does get a little dirty under that edge. So um, this is my little trick for that. And it also works really well for around the kitchen sink, which we still need to 
um, add some clear silicone caulking in there so it gets a little dirty. But that works really, really well, the butter knife in the dishcloth. Now I'm just wiping out our dish rack. This thing gets really scummy really quickly. So again, I just use my same um, homemade cleaning scrub and I scrub all of this and rinse it all away. Honestly, nothing works better than this homemade cleaning scrub. I'm always amazed at like how effective it is. Highly recommend trying that if you have a lot of kitchen stuff that is stained, like just baking soda. Even if you just have baking soda on its own, it is so effective. And now I'm trying to figure out how to arrange this corner. I'm such a sucker for seasonal decor, but we have a small kitchen, so I need it to be really functional as well. I ended up moving our water cooler to the fridge, even though it's a little bit more of a hassle to take it out and fill it up. And then I was trying to figure out what to do with our soda stream. I use it every day, but it doesn't fit in any cabinets, and it is just so big, but I realized I could actually take out a shelf in that hutch and fit it in there. So that is the plan. Um, and then our blender, I keep out because I use it like four times a day, which sounds outrageous, but we truly use it all the time. Then I'm moving over to the other side of the kitchen. And just before I clean up, I'm just refilling the flour because it's empty and we make a lot of bread, a lot of bread products in this house. We bake a lot, so it's nice to have that full. And then I'm again, I'm just taking my cleaning spray, spraying everything down, the walls, the counters, cleaning all the cords. The cords get very dusty and wiping down the coffee maker, everything. All the nooks and crannies of the base of the kettle, it's all getting scrubbed. And then for any hard stains on the counter, I'm just, again, using my baking soda scrub. It, guys, it's so effective. <laughs> um, plugging everything back in. This area doesn't change much because I know what I like on the counters here. Um, I'm trying not to let it get too cluttered, but I like to have things with an easy reach. So that's what works for me. And then this little cubby here we have, it's where I kind of like tuck and hide away our bread maker, which I use occasionally. And this big bowl, which is where we keep like our potatoes, our onions, our squashes, which I'm kind of loving how the squashes now just kind of double as decor. And then I am decided to quickly go over our cabinets and just give them a spray and a quick wipe. I'm always surprised at the little bits of stuff that's on our cabinets whenever I actually give them some attention. And then over in our little pantry nook, I'm not going to do too much because I just had a big coffee spill here. So I just cleaned out the inside of the microwave and underneath of that whole area like two days ago. So all I need to do is a quick wipe down and then a quick little uh, zhuzh, I guess. So we had just gone to the apple orchard. So I'm piling all of our apples into that big bowl and getting that area ready because our grocery delivery order was supposed to come on this day. So I needed it to be tidy so I could unpack the groceries. Now I am just cleaning off the kitchen table. I really, it needed a good scrub. Lots of crafts happen here. <laughs> so lots of little bits needed to be scrubbed off of the table and off of the chairs. And then I was out of cleaning spray. So here I am making it. Again, it's just half, it's equal parts vinegar, distilled water, and about a teaspoon of sal suds. And it works very, very well. Next, I'm going over to our uh, appliances. I do use a stainless steel spray for this. I think it's Weinman's. It just works so well. It works so well. I hate streaky stainless steel. It's such a it's such a pet peeve for me. So I have to. This is like my one slightly toxic cleaner, and I have to use it because I hate when the stainless steel looks drippy and yeah, just not good. Anyways, so now I am sweeping, moving onto the floors. This was very, very needed. I feel like now that I have a toddler, I'm sweeping. It's like my entire life. Sand is everywhere in my home. I don't even know. We don't even encounter that much sand, but it is everywhere. So it feels good to sweep and get that out from under my toes. And then I'm just going in with this method cleaner for the floors for a quick mop. Apparently, it's a no rinse. You don't have to rinse it. So I've been using it. Um, it like the floors feel fine afterwards and it works surprisingly well for something you don't have to go over again and rinse. So this is a very, very quick job. And now comes the fun part. I get to style things up a little bit. <laughs> so I'm starting with the kitchen table. This won't last long because I have a toddler and he likes to race his Hot Wheels around our table and pretend he's racing in the piston cap, but I'm putting down a tablecloth. <laughs> 
was. And then I'm popping down this rug and some new dish towels and of course my little pumpkin pie plate on the stove. And that is that. This feels just like a big deep exhale. It's so nice when this space is super tidy, super squeaky clean. I just feel like Oh, it's just so nice. It's such a good feeling. I know you guys get it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Thank you so much for watching again. Don't forget to check out the description down below. And yeah, thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video.